Hi, Guido Fox here. Welcome by a new book report. Today I want to discuss with you this book and the name of the book is God. We go for God is the book God. Nearly 230 pages of information how you can grow to a gold carrier and it's about carrier development potential development for people in organizations uh, so for carrier coaching so today i want to discuss some carrier coaching information because i also support people in life to finding their carrier purpose their mission here on earth and what kind of job is fitting by your skills by your interest and how you can perform well in your job so that's more job skills job development and how you can raise your value in the organization because if you're only working in your organization and you don't know your blind spots your weaknesses your grow potentials uh, you stay stuck right so you want to grow with a life coach with a career coach to grow in your role to become earlier manager earlier director earlier partner or whatever uh, that's some great investment right to put your money in a career coach to raise up your job skills and then you get earlier promotion uh, and you get earlier more money in the pocket so that's a great investment, a great investment in a career coach to find your purpose, your mission here, but also grow in your skills, in your job skills. And that makes you also a more happy person. If you learn more things, if you grow really, really in your, in your job. So it's about potential development, not really about finding your life mission here on earth uh, why you're here on earth but it's more if you find your mission if you find your purpose how we can grow faster as a person as an employee or as a business owner um, in your role um, towards a more successful career and uh, so this is about potential <coughs> development and the first page what is interesting is page 19 and that is that we are living in a VUCA world we are living in a VUCA world we are living in a VUCA world and I want to discuss with you the first three sentences letters and not the A the A was not so important here but I want to discuss the VUC world with you. We are living in a VUC world. What is that? That is one, we are living in a volatile world. That means that everything is changing fast. So the jobs are changing fast. Different jobs, especially in the intellectual class new jobs new knowledge so you want to become always up to date as an employee you want to work on your skill set um, to become knowledgeable so constantly new information new jobs you have to be flexible as an employee so one volatile world i discuss later with you how we, what we can do um, to adapt to this new world the two second thing is that we're living in an uncertain world so the world is changing uh, changing in shifts in economic welfare 
uh, different countries. So uh, one country is going well, the other country is going bad and goes faster in different ways. So uh, we have to change as employee our skills to find the good markets. So we have to become sharp uh, to find new ways to make money in different countries. So the world is uncertain. That means also that we have to take account that it can become not so good in a country uh, and the earning possibilities are not going well here. So how we deal with that? So we're living in an uncertain, volatile, changing world. And the last one, the C, V, U, C, is complex. We're living in a complex world. And so new knowledge, but also the knowledge is becoming more difficult, is becoming more complex. So knowledge will be more deeper, will be more deeper. It's, um, if you want to know everything about a car, a special car, um, it's a very specialized job, right? To know everything about a Ferrari, Modena, you know, the computers in the, in the car. So you have to know everything about this car. So you get more and more specialized jobs. So if you choose for a kind of job, you have to be sure that you want to do that for uh, more years. Uh, so finding your life mission purpose, do it with full consciousness. Otherwise you're sitting somewhere on an office and you don't like your job. So let's see, it's a complex world. So if you're finding really a specialized job uh, instead of a general job, then be careful where you go uh, with, where you go into it, because the world is more complex or so more specialized, uh, specialized jobs here. So the volatile, uncertain and complex world. How we tackle this, how we got to tackle this worldwide. It's very interesting in your development as an employer, employer, um, uh, as a person. So one is finding your authentic power. What are your skills? Why you're here on earth? Where are you good in? What are your best job skills? What is your authentic powers? What is where you're really good in? Um, what is in your DNA vessels? What is in your real DNA? What is your sprinkling sweet spot? What is your really, really, really thing what you do? what you like to do and what you really can. Um, I like to fright, I like to listen carefully to people, I like to make videos, I like to read books, that's my special quality. I am very auditive, uh, I like to learn new things. So all those things are coming together in Life Coach. So what is your real and real uh, strengths, um, your strengths in your skills. Um, combine that with lessons in communication, in marketing, and in selling yourself um, is making you a complete person for the market because you have to sell sell yourself right um, in your solicitation you have to sell yourself in your role with customers you have to sell yourself and also uh, with your colleagues you have to work on some social skills so also social skills are important to work on so a is finding your authentic powers what is that? Think about that. What are your authentic powers and your sales qualities? That are two things to prepare for the VUC world. B is constantly 
development. So if you have not a job skills coach or someone who supports you in your development, a really good one, right? Uh, not some colleague on your office who tells you something oh in your presentation you have to do this or that no i talk not about colleagues who give you unask or ask advices about your development or your boss really really someone who knows about personal development who can reflect you so um really a specialized person who can work with you who can support you in your grow quality so you have to outsource <coughs> your personal development you have to not find someone in your office or your boss or whatever you have to really source that out to grow because you don't want constantly have um, false information not adequate information about your environment um, and also it's unpaid and also there's a big risk that you disturb other people in their work so if you constantly ask advices by your colleagues uh, about your behavior or about your development um, then they uh, then they you can disturb them in uh, their work right and that's not what you want to have in the office uh, dynamics so two things how you can prepare one finding your authentic power your mission your life purpose what is in your dna what's your really your strength finding that first then the sales then the social dynamics and then b is your constantly development you have to work on yourself constantly because the market is also changing very fast it's volatile it's complex it's uncertain <coughs> uncertain so constantly development constantly change will <coughs> be favorable <coughs> for your for your career and for your value as a person life is your own responsibility so it is your responsibility <coughs> to do something with this right uh, if you have a shitty job with a shitty environment with a shitty salary with shitty working hours and you're unhappy then it is your responsibility if you're doing nothing and sitting home and you're getting depression then it is your responsibility so your responsibility to hire a good life coach a good career coach uh, <coughs> and play there a proactive active role you're responsible for your life you're responsible and that is very important to understand so don't blame others blame yourself always blame yourself for your actions always blame yourself what the world is giving back to you so blame yourself blame not others don't play the victim role here <coughs> you're a hero and you can grow to a superhero don't blame yourself too much also be sometimes proud of yourself right <clears throat> so that is all all i want to tell about page 19 about the vuc world then we are stepping to the next subject and that is your example vigor um <clears throat> pick someone in the world pick someone who's close to you pick someone who uh, you really appreciate you really respect you really 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 admire in a kind of way someone who is really someone as an example for you and then you can ask yourself questions why is an example for you what is the qualities of this example what's the name of this guy or girl when this example is coming in your life 
um, what kind of job this example figure is doing so everything you can ask questions about this example figure and this guy or girl can help you uh, to find some strength power life mission purpose job skills um, some job skills <coughs> um, improvements examples how to de development your uh, yourself so you can give some information about job skills too huh? what is this qualities okay i don't have these qualities how i can work uh, to raise these qualities nowadays it is not talent that brings you further long 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 time <clears throat> in the 20th centuries we talked about talent and talent you get from home you get from your parents <clears throat> you get from your family you get from uh, your teachers and that makes you talent <clears throat> or not <clears throat> so you have talent or you have no talent and that's how you are and you don't grow to from 50 cent to one euro because you are dead and now we're living in a self-development world where we can learn verbal skills we can learn physical skills we can learn body language we can learn speaking um, qualities we can learn social behavioral patterns we can learn sales skills we can learn uh, to communicate uh, whatever you can learn is in this moment to work on your personal development so now talent is not really given it is given in a certain way you have some intelligence level uh, from your dna parents <clears throat> but nowadays it is more the will ambition and interest those three things remember it is the willpower it's the ambition you have to be ambitious you can a lot of talent but if you have no ambition you don't do anything with it you don't become a professional football player right you have a kind of talent but you're lazy you're not coming to trainings so you have no ambition so you don't make it and that is with all the jobs the same if you have no ambition then it's over and um, if you have no willpower to perform or to become better in your job then it's over if you have no interest in what are you doing if you're not interested in becoming a football player if you're not interested in becoming a business owner if you're not interested in making more money if you're not interesting uh to have a wonderful life partner then it's over so it's the willpower what makes people nowadays it is the interest creating interest or with the support of life goes to find your life mission your life purpose your career purpose it is the interest it is the ambition and it is the will that makes you a total person that really can grow in your life so will interest ambition those three things are very very important for your career <clears throat> there are two things next topic there are two things um what are important in your career that's your motivation and that's your erosion there are two things in your career what is paralyzed what is in a uh, um, changing dynamics uh, what is like uh, the one get higher the one get down the one get up and the one get down and that's your erosion some people are a lot of motivation a lot of striving but they do too much work they have work overload and they're becoming in exhaustion uh, mental health problems stress situation um, uh, tiredness 
and they become less motivated because their health are bad, right? So then your motivation process is also stuck. So you have your erosion, you also become older, so you have less energy, you need more rest in between your sessions, in between your work hours, in your conversations. So also your erosion is <coughs> also due with age. So erosion and you have your motivation process. So that has to be in balance. So you have to be always motivated. If you're 50, 60, 70, you have to be motivated in the job that you're doing. If you're not motivated, you become a hanging plant in your life. And the last 10 years of your job until retirement, you will be unsatisfied. And if you're retired, probably if you don't have a life coach, you become unsatisfied also because you become in a black hole mechanism after your retirement. So you last 20, 30 years if you're, of your life if you're not doing something what you're really passionate about, but you're not keep motivated for your life. So a motivation process is very, very important combined with a healthy erosion process. So stay, keep fit, stay in balance, stay, do mindfulness to keep also motivated in the, in the process here. But the most important thing here, what the guys in this gold book is mentioned is stay motivated, stay motivated in your job always. Otherwise find other work. If you're not motivated, and I don't talk here about one day that you're unmotivated, but I talk here about months and months and months you go and with unwell feelings to your job, you're unmotivated, you don't want to do this anymore, change your environment, change your job, and you will be motivated again. So erosion and motivated are two processing in balance. Page 132 is a very important question in, in, in career and in work balance situations and in mental health on the office, on the work floor is um, what is your role? And it has to be clear from the beginning if you come in a company uh, as an employee. Um, or you have an own business and you want to run a business and you say, hey, what's my role? What I'm doing? What are my tasks? What I have to do? Um, because otherwise you're doing maybe too much uh, and you have more erosion or you're doing too less and people become angry with you because you're a lazy employee or you're going swimming in the organization, you're becoming swimming between departments or swimming in your relationship or you don't know what you have to do exactly. So what I found important in my, in my job life is that I never get a list from, okay, this is your task that has to be finished and why you're here, uh, this kind of roles you have. It was not really clear what, what my job instructions were, right? Um, so that's very clear also to ask if you work somewhere, okay, what are my instructions? What I have to do? Uh, what kind of role I have? And also ask that to the guys in the solicitation procedure. So what are the job? What I have to do? What is the, exactly the work? Um, uh, what I have to do, what's my role. <clears throat> and the reason why they say that in his book is that it gives clear information and that's good for your mental health because you know what's going on and you have, uh, you coming in an organization and you have more structure and stability here if you know exactly what your role is. So that's interesting. I found interesting in one, one, three, two is what is your role in uh, the organization? 
I talked with you already about the will, interest and ambition uh, in your career life. Uh, but in page 169 is very interesting. It's about will and the will power. We talk a lot about willpower and mind. Okay, I want to reach this. Your willpower is also something, it's a muscle to train. So if you every morning you're for the mirror, you say, okay, this is my willpower during the day. I want to reach this and this and this this day. Then you create willpower. So willpower is something really, really working out. If I set something for your day, okay, I want to finish this, 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 um, then most of the time it happens. Um, there are a lot of interesting material about the day before holiday, you have to finish a lot of work, right? And then you create willpower only at the day before holiday. <clears throat> Maybe you recognize it by yourself that you're going on holiday and uh, you have to finish a lot of tasks and you create this morning okay I go on holiday on saturday and friday i have to finish this 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 and you finished all and you were in flow and you're dedicated remember that day and that day has to be every day every day willpower day and then you create also relaxing moments after your work and you can release but fire on in your work day, fire on in your work day, right? So that's interesting. The last day before holiday, we create in once a willpower uh, fully 100%. Huh? So this ambition, interest, willpower, and the will is also a muscle you have to train. So before you wake up, if you wake up, go for the mirror, watch to yourself and say okay what i want to reach today and you create uh, a, a very heavy nice uh, willpower <coughs> another interesting topic on page 169 is self-regulation and that is something what is enhances with willpower so self-regulation we in the 20th century um we not only were thinking about talent that's dna that's given and you have talent or not and we are now living in a self-development world <clears throat> not only that but where we were also talking a lot about about self-esteem if you have self-esteem then you become successful uh, but in a theory you forget the willpower the interest the ambition the energy right uh, to go for something uh, so uh, the will the ambition the interest are very important and here comes by the self-regulation self-regulation is much more important than self-esteem uh, <clears throat> so if you have self-regulation then you also create more self-esteem because you are dedicated to your own rules so you also pick some self-esteem here but self-regulation works so if you set the day i want to finish two book reports today then the work is done i did my job and then i go relaxing and then i do some work in the evening that's my setup for this day that is my self-regulation and i want to reach the two videos today <clears throat> with all the technical things and the summaries I have to do uh, under the videos and to share it online. So I do two videos today. I want to finish that today. <clears throat> and then it creates also self-esteem. Oh, wow, I'm proud. I finished something. And there's another kind of self-esteem if people are saying, oh, you are so dedicated. Oh, you have so good looking. Oh, you have so intelligence power. That's from others. But I want to that you create self-esteem from yourself, from self-regulation. I put the agenda out, uh, I put the agenda out and I gonna work this list. I do this list and that is more and more important and nowadays than only focus on your qualities. 
So that's, I think, the whole summary for career coaching, for life coaching. It's nowadays self-regulation. You can work on yourself. You can work on self-development. That is more and more important nowadays to survive, uh, to survive the career path uh, in, your, uh, in your life. Thank you for watching uh, this video. If you need some uh, help for career coaching, life purpose, coaching skills, whatever, text me down here or send me a message, guidofox.nl, uh, and you'll find the contact details. Uh, but it's very, very important to work on your career. Thank you for watching and see you by the next video. Bye bye.